that's a lot. Oh my gosh. Man, I wonder what I could do to save money. How about I build a solar toaster oven? Hi, my name is Christopher Lowe, and I'm in seventh grader at Edwards Middle School in Central South Carolina. Did you know that an average toaster for two slices of bread uses around 1,200 watts per hour? That means if you use it for about two hours each month, you'll use up to 2.4 kilowatts per month. Hmm. Plus all the other electricity you use in the house. That's a lot of bills. On top of that, do you know how electricity is made? The most common way of creating electricity in the U.S. is by burning fossil fuels, such as oil, coal, or gas. We will use coal to demonstrate how electricity is made. First, they burn the coal. With the heat from the coal, it will boil the water on top of it. The water will evaporate, creating steam. The steam that rises from it will turn a huge turbine. Connected to the turbine is an electric generator. Within the electric generator, there is a magnet. That magnet is surrounded with coils. When the magnet spins, it creates electricity. The burning of fossil fuels is bad because it causes carbon dioxide levels to rise in the atmosphere. This extra carbon dioxide adds to the enhanced greenhouse effect, causing global warming. We are also limited on fossil fuels. A solar oven is a simple contraption that includes two parts. One, concentrating sunlight, and two, containing the heat. To concentrate the sunlight, we will use tin foil to reflect the light into the oven. To contain the heat, we will cover the cooker with a glass pane that will prevent the heat from escaping. Why does this work? The light energy excites the molecules inside the toaster. This makes them speed up, and that creates heat. Clean the box with style. Trace along the edges of the shoe box. Cut along the lines that you traced around the shoebox. Tape the edges together so they won't fall apart. Fill it up with newspaper. Put the shoebox inside the hole. Tape the edges along the side of the cardboard box. Fill the inside with tin foil. Tape tin foil onto cardboard flaps. These will be your reflectors. Tape reflectors along the glass pane at an angle, then support it with cardboard strips. Place the solar oven outside facing the sun. Angle it so the sun is shining directly into the hole. Place your preferred food into the oven. And now we wait. With this sun, I was able to toast the bread in 10 minutes. Thank you for watching, and please vote for me on the site displayed on the screen.